It's the second to last road trip of the season for the Thunder and we're starting here in Denver to take on the Nuggets. And it's OKC coming off a win at home over the Orlando Magic. You could not have asked for a better day in the Mile High City. And it's turned into a beautiful Saturday night. Setting the stage for the final meeting of the year between the Thunder and the Denver Nuggets as Darius Baisley and Taylor Maladon make their way into Ball Arena. And Michael, the Thunder really prided themselves all season long on being team-oriented. They stayed connected defensively, and that was a problem for the Nuggets. Mark Dagnall, very complimentary, Michael, with the help defense. As Krejci got a fly by on Green, and how about that three? Waters, and how about a Waters? Off the hit ahead from Maladon. That was a fun game, but you got to earn the right to play in fun games. And uh, the way you do it is by competing and by doing it together. And I thought we did that well enough in the second half to give ourselves a chance in the game. When I walked out there and there was just tons of people out there, I was like, no way this is for me. Like, like they said there was going to be some people here, but like it was around 800. And I tried to see as many people as I could see. I couldn't see everybody, but um, and I wanted to. And I was just, you know, blown away by like how much support there was. That was a big night for me. The second and final stop on this Western Conference road swing, and the Thunder taking on another Northwest Division foe in the Portland Trailblazers. Two games in eight days towards the end of this season, and the last time that the Thunder met the Blazers here in Portland was kind of an inflection point for them, a big-time trade that really set in motion an investment in their youth the rest of the way. We had the ball zipping around tonight, kept it ahead of the defense, continued to invest in the way that we want to play. Um, and it puts everybody at advantages, and I thought that was the case again tonight. I felt like we played with our strengths. Obviously, we was uh, missing uh, lots of players, but uh, we knew our strengths and uh, how we wanted to play, and I thought we did a pretty good job on that, uh, on this game. Like Coach emphasized that we had no timeouts left, so, yeah, we just had to Somebody had to go get the ball, and you know, thankfully, I was able to make the shot. We'll try to find Maladon, Wiggins, Krejci, or Roby. Ellaby defending. Maladon trying to flare out. Ball inbounded to Roby. He will hoist the three and knock it down. Isaiah Roby with 5.4 seconds ties this game at 115. After when we went through overtime, just finish, finish, uh, finish the job. I think we gave ourselves a chance to. Uh, with the overtime to compete again and get that get that win and we had the momentum going and I felt like we did a great job on that. Thunder starting a four game homestand to conclude the home slate of the schedule this season. Hard to believe and it begins with the Atlanta Hawks coming into town. It was a it was a cool moment for sure. Uh, great to see him doing big things uh, but two kids from Norman you know meeting back up in the league it's amazing. Special moment as Waters made one, make it two. Oh, Trey Young, a little show with the basketball, a little show and go. We have a really good relationship with our fans and in the state, and uh, obviously our fan base has taken to Lindy because of the local dynamic there. And I, I know Trey Young coming back is a big deal for fans of basketball in Oklahoma. So I think it's great for the state that, um, and great for those two guys. I think it's pretty cool when you, you know. When you're in high school, I don't know if anybody's sitting around thinking your high school teammates can be playing against each other in the NBA, so it's pretty good. She's a quick closeout on Waters. That's going to leave Mallet on wide open. He was the inbounder. Confidence, aggressiveness. You got to uncover some upside in your game. And for him, it's speed and transition. It's taking open shots when he's there. Um, and I think the extended minutes and the role that he's playing right now is kind of giving him the breathing room to do that and hopefully giving him some good momentum as we head into the summer. That's a really good team. You know, they, ha they have all the pieces and, and they definitely uh, are contenders for, you know, to win it all in June. But um, I mean, for us, just kind of getting better is something that we, we pride ourselves in. And uh, I thought tonight we kind of showed that, you know, when we play team ball, when we play the right way, when we're making the hustle plays, when we're, you know, locked in on our game plan, you know, we can compete with anybody. So uh, I thought we did a really good job just kind of competing and uh, giving ourselves a chance and we took advantage of that. <laughs> Our best 
day. We try it a lot. We play together. We fix some things at the halftime, but I know how we play. Defensively, that's yeah. <laughs> It's a opportunity for us to give opportunities to guys that invest in our program, which I, you know, I've talked about many times. Oh, in anticipation, Lezakis right to the rack. Always goes by quickly. Oh no. It's up here. Oh, he just did it dirty. Um, we're excited that we can, you know, bring those guys into the fray and let them be a part of this. Setting it up for Horn. Watch out. Watch out. Those guys did a great job of just coming in and competing. You know, it's a tough situation, you know, getting signed today and playing uh, tonight, starting, playing the minutes that they played. Um, and I thought they really competed. Last time we were in Salt Lake City was the very first game of the regular season of the 2021-22 season. We are now here to begin the final road trip of the year. This way onto the court. As Romeo will drive and kick out to Simpson. Simpson for the team. Nice play. Smooth into that little finger roll. No matter if you win or lose, uh, you can always like get better from it. You know, don't just lose the game and not, you know, not learn anything. Try to take away as much as you can uh, and apply for you know the next game. Uh, we got two games, two games left, so you know, try to uh, continue to just apply what you learn uh, each and every game. As Frazier, boy, that's a nice take to the rim, and all by yourself again. A 5-0 swing. And the fun will have the day off tomorrow. Get ready for the Los Angeles Clippers. And so the Thunder get it in, and this one is in the books. We're at the Tupac Museum. Um, got to see a lot of history today. Um, learned a lot. Um, it was a great experience. He was so intelligent. That's what I didn't know before all of this. Um, super smart guy, super creative. Um, it, it was just cool to see, see that side of him that I didn't know. I was just listening to Tupac yesterday with my Uber song. I thought that was pretty cool, and the song was in there. It was a good experience. Um, I didn't even know they had a Tupac museum, so I'd definitely be trying to come back with my family because I know my family big Tupac fans. So, you know, definitely something to to come back and do with the fam. But we we really we really just in LA for real, just just chilling. Um, I got wigs and Shay right there, but we really in LA just living it up at the Tupac Museum, and yeah, um, it's really it, but it was kind of cool though. Yo, shut up. <laughs> really hard to believe. What a season it's been of growth and opportunity, and that opportunity has continued even on this very last road trip. How about this young group of guys that have never played in this building? It was a memorable moment, and they certainly made the most of it. Such a great late season revelation. This time, the burst and the speed. Got right by. You know what? You get so excited being out there, man. How about that? Come on. Come on oh, now. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, it's meant a lot. Um, it definitely, like, it's definitely rewarding from all the hard work and dedication I put into it. Um, but, man, I'm just thankful. Like, the 10 day came kind of late, man, but I can't be more appreciative. Like, and have an opportunity to lace up the third of Jersey, represent myself, my family and friends, and the organization. So I'm just appreciative of that, just having the opportunity.
I'm excited about seeing what our team looks like when we come in the gym in September. And I think training camp in particular, just looking at who's on the team, knowing we're going to be layering in more guys, um, I'm pretty excited about the level of competition. And that level of competition, you know, inside your roster is a indicator of, um, of having an improving team. Uh, and that's a good thing.